Code Pink founder and longtime peace activist Medea Benjamin was threatened with arrest in Washington, D.C. Wednesday and accused of assaulting a sitting Congress member after being forcibly removed from a press conference for opposing the U.S.-backed coup and U.S. sanctions in Venezuela. Benjamin vehemently denies the accusations and says she was, in fact, the one assaulted when she and other activists demonstrated at a press conference hosted by Florida Democrat Debbie Wasserman Schultz and Florida Republican Mario Diaz Balart condemning President Nicolas Maduro and announcing the launch of a congressional Venezuela Democracy Cong Caucus. Medea Benjamin joins us now from Washington, D.C. Medea, what happened yesterday? Start with the beginning of the day. Where were you? What you were doing? What were you doing? And then what happened next? There was a press conference being held outside to announce the creation of this new Democracy Caucus on Venezuela. And uh, so we decided to go with our signs saying, hands off Venezuela, no coup. Uh, and the Venezuelan opposition elite showed up as well. Uh, we know these people very well from the time we were part of the Embassy Protection Collective trying to stop them from taking over the Venezuelan embassy in D.C. Uh, they are thugs. And it's important to understand, uh, Amy, that this is not about Nicolas Maduro. This is about the, uh, the, the policy of intervention uh, that we are opposing. And uh, the creation of this caucus was yet another piece in that. The U.S. is paying for the salaries of a parallel government uh, that they have set up. And uh, these people showed up at the press conference yesterday, and they push and pull. They grabbed all of our signs. They grabbed the phone out of the hands of one of us. Uh, and I was pushed and shoved and choked and thrown to the ground. Uh, and then later, um, I was accused of being the one to assault Congresswoman Deborah Wasserman Schultz. Uh, and there was a bulletin put out for my arrest. They showed up my house, five cop cars, plus um, uh, uh, police on motorcycles, uh, and they threatened to arrest me. I was very uh, intimidated, uh, and I must say that I um, feel that this is par for the course, because, unfortunately, the police, whether it's the Capitol Police, D.C. Police or Secret Service, have always been working hand in glove with the Venezuelan opposition. And every time we get assaulted, which is unfortunately on a regular basis, we ask them to be arrested. The police won't do it. And instead, we get charged. So explain what happened. They came to your house, what, like five squad cars of police. They attempted to arrest and, you, but and what motorcycles. happened? Well, I, I asked where the warrant was for my arrest, and they didn't have the warrant. And they waited and waited, and they said that their detectives were looking over the footage that they had. And I said, good, look over the footage, because you'll see that I was being choked and thrown to the ground. Uh, and then, uh, after a time, they said, uh, all right, you're free to go. Now, I don't know if that really means free, because we have the case of Max Blumenthal, that five months after being at the uh, Venezuelan embassy, they came and surrounded his home and did the same thing, uh, put him in jail for 20 hours, and now he is facing court charges for a false assault uh, arrest. Um, we have the four people from the Embassy Collective who are facing very serious charges for upholding international law. Um, we have my own partner, who, for six months, had his passport taken away, had to report to court every week until they finally dropped the charges. So I think people should know that there is a systematic attempt to, uh, to uh, intimidate those of us who are standing up for international law, standing against U.S. policy of intervention, going back to the days of the Monroe Doctrine, standing up against the very brutal sa uh, sanctions that are hurting people in Venezuela, Nicaragua. Nicaragua, Cuba, and that we need more people to join us in this and get our elected officials to speak out. Right now, Bernie Sanders is the only one doing it. We need the other candidates to do so. We need uh, our, our uh, Congress to do so, to say, stop the U.S. interference in the internal affairs of other countries. Medea Benjamin, your sign said, no coup in Venezuela or Bolivia. We just have a minute, but talk about your concerns yesterday. 
Well, my concerns is that this new bipartisan caucus is going to turn up the screws even more. And let's face it, they don't care about the people of Venezuela. If they did, they would lift the sanctions. What they care about is the votes in Florida. And that's why it's bipartisan. Florida is a very important state in the upcoming presidential elections. And that's why we have to stand up to the thugs, uh, the elitists, whether it's the around Venezuela or Cuba. Or, uh, it's not about those governments. It's about the principle of non-intervention. And I call on people to join us to say, uh, stop the U.S. government from going back to the days where it thinks it can impose uh, governments on other countries. And they are saying, as you stood next to him, we're looking at video footage, you're right next to uh, Congress member Wasserman Schultz. Um, you're saying the Venezuelan opposition behind you took you down on the ground? They did. They choked me and they threw me down to the ground. I'm in pain. I couldn't sleep last night. My whole side is in pain. Uh, so they definitely were the ones that grabbed me and choked me and threw me to the ground. Um, I guess uh, they didn't arrest me because they saw that, and maybe they feel they would have to arrest the people who assaulted me. But once again, I do feel very intimidated, and I don't feel like this is the end, that they could show up my, at my house anytime with a warrant just to uh, keep me in this process like they have done to so many of other, our other uh, comrades, uh, to try to stop people from standing up for this principle Medea, of non-intervention. Medea Benjamin, we thank you for being with us, co-founder of Code Pink, longtime peace activist. Happy birthday to Ishmael Darrow. I'm Amy Goodman with Nermeen Sheikh. Thanks so much for joining us.